Hi, this is R.C. Gopi. I am a SAP consultant. I help companies to overcome problems in their supply chain business processes and provide effective solutions to them. Today, I am going to give you a session about six key things to consider during server sizing for SAP event management. You may be a functional consultant or a solution architect and you may wonder why I need to know this. Some of you may have this question in your mind, right? If we implement SAP event management, we may be asked to perform this detailed analysis in our project and provide our valuable inputs to SAP basis technical team. These data will help them to perform application benchmark in SAP. Okay, let's see six key things to consider during server sizing for SAP event management. First, we should know the number of users who are going to use SAP event management. I know it is very difficult to get this number in the beginning of the project. However, we can request a client to provide an approximate number of users going to use. Think in this way. If hundreds of users are going to use the application at same time, we need to have a good server and good memory, right? So we need to know the number of users first. Second, Calculate how many event handlers and event messages will be created approximately. Suppose if the client is planning to implement for two main business processes like um, sales and uh, shipment, then we will have to configure two event handlers, one for each scenario. But if the client wants to break down the sales process into three sub processes like sales order, delivery and shipment, then we will end up three event handlers for sales scenario alone. Okay, so how do we decide number of events and event messages that can be created for each event handler? If you have a 10 expected events and uh, two unexpected events for a particular event handler, then we would end up with 12 events. So we need to calculate how many event handlers and event messages will be created approximately. And third, Calculate the number of orders or a shipment that were created. This you can query through a shipment table or a sales order table to find the number of shipments that are created in a year. For example, if the query brings um, 50,000 shipments were created in a year. If you want to create one event handler for each shipment and there will be 50,000 event handlers and the number of event messages will be 50,000 multiplied by 12 that equals to 750,000 even messages will be processed in a year it's huge so now we have approximate calculation of 50,000 even handlers and 750,000 even messages fourth calculate the size of even message data packet ask the client if there will be any even messages that may contain attachments like uh, signature, approval document, uh, custom document or any other attachments because this will eat up huge memory in system while processing. So we need to calculate the size of any such data packets. Fifth, consider pros and cons of enabling logs. This is very important. Sometimes even handler posting or even message processing may fail in SAP event management system. During these times, clients definitely require a log reports to track what happened. So, logs become very essential during these situations. But keep in mind, enabling logs on event handler or event message consumes huge amount of space in hard disk. Take this as an important consideration when you enable log in system. And sixth, know about archiving and deleting strategy. Does client has any plan to implement archiving and deleting strategy? Do they have SAP BW to extract data from SAP EM periodically? Because if you store the event handlers and event messages for a long time in SAP event management system, then it will occupy huge disk space in a gigabytes or a terabytes. We would certainly need an archiving model or a BW extraction so that we can go ahead and periodically delete event handlers and event messages 
which are completed, archived and extracted into SAP BW system. So far, we have seen six key things to consider during a server sizing for SAP event management. In my next video, we will see more about SAP event management. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found this useful. If you did, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel right below this video to get more updates and stay connected. Take care. Bye-bye.